the mood is set So you already know what's next Hi guys, I'm just sitting here in my dorm. I just got done with my two classes, Espanol e Psychology. Um, I thought I'd make another vlog because I really want to do this on a regular basis. And I'm just going to say that this weekend, the 15th and 16th, that's the regular weekend, and then we'll have our first ever fall break uh, on the Monday and Tuesday, which is the 17th and 18th. And, you know, uh, the African American Studies program was supposed to go to New Orleans for then, um, from the, the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but I just got an email that the trip got canceled. So I'm really sad, because it was a really good deal, and I was excited. I don't get to travel many places, but there was a lack of participation, so now I can't go. Um, instead, I'm just going to, you know, go home and see my family, because I know they miss me a lot, and I miss them too. Um, so, I don't know, I'm a little heartbroken about the trip getting cancelled, but, you know, it'll be good, some good family time, since I'll have four days off, and since I already requested off of work, because I thought I was going to New Orleans, yay! <laughs> but anyway, let's see, um, not a whole lot's been going on around here, um, just been studying, kind of and doing homework and that kind of thing and going to my classes and trying to meet up with my mentees, trying to be the best mentor I can be. And lots of time spent on Facebook and Twitter, I will say. I don't really use my Twitter a whole lot, but recently I've kind of been wanting to use it. So I have, and you know, if any of you want to follow me, <laughs> um, let's see, my Twitter name is H E Heron, which is kind of like my name. It's H-E-H-E-R-R-I-N. And I would love to have lots of followers on Twitter. That's awesome. And I get bored just, like, reading celebrities. I'm, I'm a normal person. Normal. Okay, they're normal. I'm an average person. So, yeah, following average people sounds like a good deal. Well, I feel like I'm rambling on about dumb things. Um, well. Yeah, there's not. Oh, oh. Here's something kind of interesting that happened. Okay. So, Saturday morning, I get up early, I have to be at work at 10, and I'm like, you know, there's probably a lot of traffic out because of the game. It was Auburn versus Arkansas um, this week, and we won. Yeah, go Hogs. But, um, so I was like, oh, okay, I'll just get up really early and make sure that I can make it to my, um, like, walk all the way into my car, because there's hor horrible parking on this campus and probably every other campus. And so I was like, I'll get up early, I'll make it to my car. And I get to my car, or lack thereof, and realize that I have parked in the wrong parking lot and that I have to go track it down. So I call my mom crying, <laughs> of course, because what does any other like young woman do if she has to be at work in 30 minutes and her car is towed? And my mom's like, calm down, call campus security, ask them where it is, how you're supposed to get it back. So I call them, and they're like, oh, yeah, it's over here in this parking lot. And I'm like, what? That's like an hour-long walk from here. So I call my roommate, and I'm like, I went to my car, and I have to be at work in 30 minutes, and it's not here. Like, can you come get me? I don't know what to do. Can you take me to work? I don't have time to go get my car and drive to work and all this. So she's on her way to come pick me up. And, like, she was, like, still in bed when I left, so I feel terrible. Even though it took me like it took me like 10, 15 minutes to walk to my car. So I wake her up, and she's on her way driving. And I, I'm like, okay, I'm going to call my job and tell them I'm running late. Well, I'm like, hey, my car got towed. I have to go find it. I'm running a little bit behind, you know. And they're like, oh, well, you know, we don't need you today. Unless you absolutely want to work, you don't have to. And I'm like, well, great. So not only do I have a fine, I also have... I also don't get to work to, like, make up for that lost money that I'm going to have to pay. And, you know, I did want to work, but they were like, no, you should probably... They were kind of, like, really, really trying to get me to say I didn't want to come in because they had to cut hours for the day. And they were just like, you know, you need to take care of your car situation. You go figure out your car situation. You don't have to come in today. And I'm like, crap, I have to pay this fine now. 
So that would be the most exciting thing that, that I would say has happened since my last vlog, but I couldn't believe that happened. I was just so frustrated. Like, I have a fine and I don't get to work today. It's like a double whammy. It was aggravating. But, yeah, other than that, honestly, I can't say anything too interesting has happened lately. So, yeah. That's about it. Talk to you later. Bye.